Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Clam, and today we're going to be doing a demonstration on how to create a color wheel inside of a Word document. Uh, you can see here there's two examples. We've got the simple color wheel, which is um, just the uh, primaries and the secondaries, just normal colors. And then over here, we have the same color wheel, but uh, we included the tertiaries and we made the colors um, pictures. So more interesting that way. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, I'm going to go kind of quickly through this. Feel free to um, pause this video at any time throughout. Here we go. Okay, so I've brought up just a blank Word document. I'm going to go into Page Layout Orientation and make this landscape orientation so that it is longer horizontally than it is vertically. And then I want to be able to see the whole document. Um, sometimes our computer screen is uh, zoomed in quite a bit, so I want to go to View and One Page. That'll make it so I can see all the way around. Next, I'm going to start by creating a large circle in the center of my document. Uh, try and get it as circular as you can. Try not to have an oval. Okay, so go Format, Position, and we want this to be in the center of our paper. So instead of having to kind of eyeball it, we're going to put Position, Center. Now we're going to go to Shape, Fill. We're going to use this a lot. Uh, this one I want to have no fill and a black outline. Okay, so that'll give us our big main um, circle. As you can see in the example here, it gets mostly covered up. Next, we're going to put on the primaries, which are yellow, blue, and red. We're going to do that by going to Insert, Shapes, and the Circle. You line up as best as you can. Now for Shape Fill, we're going to do White, and then Black Outline. For the outline this time, we just need to click right here. We don't actually have to click on this drop down. We just need to click there. Uh, for the shape fill, I made it white instead of no fill because as you can see, if there was no fill, you'd be able to see that line through it and I don't want that. I want it to be white for right now. Now this particular circle, I've made it the size I want and I've uh, positioned it. I'm going to copy and paste that image. I can move it down. I'm going to make a triangle. Um, there's also a shortcut you can use instead of doing um, right click and copy and paste. You can click on the circle and do control C and then control V. Control C is copy and control V is paste. Okay, so I've positioned these into a triangle. You want to make sure that your triangle is an actual triangle and it doesn't kind of sit down here. Okay, so even spacing between the three. Then I'm going to put a triangle. You can actually go over here. Instead of doing file or do insert um, shapes, you can actually go over here to the triangle. And I'm going to create a triangle between these three circles. Okay. Fill, I want no fill. I want a black outline. And then I, I don't want this triangle to be in front of my circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my circle, hold down the shift key, and click on the other two circles. And that'll select them all at the same time. So let go of the shift key, then right click on one of them, and click on bring to front. That will bring the circles in front of the triangle. The next thing we're going to do is put in the uh, secondary colors. So insert shapes, and for the secondaries I want to use squares. So think about the primaries as being um, circles and the secondary as being squares. Once again, shape fill, I want white, black outline, click on it, control C, control V twice. That'll give me two more squares. And when I place these, I want to be thinking of them as being directly in between the circle. So I don't want it to be, you know, off too far to one side or the other. I want it to be right in between those two. Then we create another triangle to go between the secondaries. But this triangle, I want to um, have a dashed line and I want it to be on its side. So no fill, outline black. I can grab this right here and drag it and that will rotate that triangle. I can move it where I want it. Now I want this to have a, a dashed line, not a solid line. So I'm going to go up here to Shape Outline, drop down, and go to Dashes, and select this one right here. Once again, I want my squares to be in front, so I'm going to click on one, hold down Shift, click on the others, right click, and now for the fun part. We're going to go through and start coloring these in. Uh, we're going to start with just coloring them normal, just regular colors. So click on the top circle, go Shape Fill. And we'll do yellow, blue, and red, our primary colors. 
in between red and blue, we end up with violet. So I'm going to go change that to violet. In between yellow and blue, we get green. And in between yellow and red, we have orange. Now, if this is an orange that you don't like, if you think, well, you know what, I, I kind of think I could do a better orange, go shape fill and then more fill colors. Go to standard and you can pick a different orange if you like. There, I like that one better. The next thing we're going to do is going to go ahead and label these. We're going to go into insert text box and we're going to go all the way down here to draw text box. Click and drag and that will give us a text box. We're going to go ahead and type in here. We'll put green. Now you can see there's a dashed line right here. I don't want to have a dashed line. I want it to be solid. So I'm going to click once more on there. It turns solid and that makes it so I can go to shape outline and do no outline. And I want to make my font just a little bigger. So I'm going to go over to home. See this button right here? This will make it a little bit bigger. There, that's better. And then I'm going to center it. Beautiful. Okay, so I've got my green here. Now, instead of having to create, uh, or actually, uh, let me show you this first. Um, right now this has a white fill, so it's actually on top of the green. If I click on it and then go to uh, format, shape fill, and do no fill, there, now it's not a problem anymore. Um, when I put these on, I want to pretend that there's a dot in the center of my screen. And uh, if I draw a line straight from that dot through the color, on the other side of it is where the color should be. Uh, now, instead of creating another text box, you know, going insert text box and then having to change the size and um, the no fill, all I have to do is click on it and then do control C, control V. That's copy and paste. And I can move it down here click in it and type the next color. I'm going to go ahead and do that for all of the colors that I have right now for the primaries and the secondaries. Okay, so now that I have that done, I have the primaries and the secondaries labeled. I'm going to go through and make the tertiaries. And I'm going to make those triangles. Insert, shapes, triangle. Uh, draw a triangle just kind of the size that you think you want it. Then you can move it kind of into position, grabbing this again rotate it and point it towards the center of the color wheel. I'm going to make shape fill white, shape outline black, control C, control V. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste these until I have six of them because there are six tertiary colors. For the tertiary colors, they're a combination of the primaries and the secondaries. Uh, when we do this, I'm going to do control C, control V. When we label these, we're going to make sure we put the primary name first. So this will actually be yellow green, yellow hyphen green, no spaces. And I might have to take and click, drag this out. You want to make sure that it is all on a straight line. Don't make it be um, like that. Okay, none of that business. So we've got our yellow green. I'm going to copy and paste, control C, control V, and do this for all of the other colors. When you're doing this, naming the tertiaries, you want to make sure that you're consistent. Always have capitalized the first letter of each of the colors and have the same size font in all of them. Now we're going to go through yellow green. Um, we could go through, here we go, yellow, green, and find it in here. It might be a little harder, though. We're going to go through and put in the colors for the tertiaries. Once again, you might want to go to more fill colors, and then find, like, your blue, green, blue, violet. It might be easier to find in more fill colors. So now we've created a standard color wheel with all the primaries, secondaries, and tertiaries. Now here's where the fun part comes in. We can take and change these plain colors into um, images, such as I've done here with this stone. Uh, how to do that is we're going to go to Google. Let's see. I'm going to have a theme. I'm going to have blue gemstone. So I'm going to look up a sapphire. Oops, sapphire. And I'm going to find a sapphire that I like. 
I'm going to click on it once to make it just a little bit bigger than everything else. Right click on it, save image as, and then you're going to go save this. Um, I created a folder just for this. And I'm going to name it Blue. Uh, I'm actually going to name it Blue 2 because I have done this before and I've got other things saved. So Blue 2, save. Now that that's saved, I can go back to my Word document, click on the circle, shape fill, and then drop down to Picture from File. And I'm going to go find my sapphire, my blue two. I double click on it. And voila, I have my image there. So now you can go through and do that for all of your um, primary, secondaries, and tertiaries. So now you have a color wheel that's not just normal colors, but it's made of some really interesting pictures. I hope this was helpful and that you learned a lot. Thank you and have a good one.